Hey there geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. As always, today we're going to show you how to set up file history in Windows 10 or 11. File history allows you to back up your files in case they get lost, deleted, or corrupted. However, you do need either a second hard drive, whether it's internal or external. It could be a thumb drive, flash drive, for example, or a physical drive plugged into your computer. So what you want to do before we get started is, if you have an external drive, plug it in first. Otherwise, you'll have to repeat the steps and open it up again because Windows won't see it. What we're going to do is we're going to open the control panel, and we're going to do that easiest by Windows key plus S. Start typing control, and it should show up as control panel. And if you don't see file history, you're probably in the category view. So you'll click right here and do large or small icons, whichever you want. And there's file history. Odds are it is off, so you want to click turn on, and it will start backing up your files immediately. Now you need to know that it's going to back up your C colon backslash users username. So for example, let me see if I can find it here. Give me a quick second. Here's my file explorer on my other screen. So in other words, C users and there I am. So it's going to back up a good chunk of what is in there. And that includes your documents, videos, pictures, music, etc. So now that we're here, to use this, there's just a couple of things you need to do. You can kind of see it's all set up here on your left. It's not too bad. You might have to wait for it to save the copies of your files to see how it says it's doing it now. So be aware that you won't see everything right away. Give it some time. And let's go ahead and configure what you want to do. So we've selected the drive. And the next thing you can do is, let's see here. Make sure you've got the right drive, which we do. And from there, you can add a network location if you don't see it or show all. So that's a nice little option, too, if you have stuff across a network. Right? Neat. All right. So next thing you can do is exclusion. So this is kind of interesting. If you don't want to save copies, you can add it here. So go ahead and click add. It'll show you a handful of folders. Let's say you're not going to bother backing up your music. Go ahead and click on that and click select folder and click save changes and you're all set. Might save it some time when it's backing up. Like anything else, the advanced options are also very cool. And the reason for that is you can decide how you're going to back stuff up. As you can see right here, save copies of files when you want to do it. Every hour typically is overkill, but it depends. You might be working on documents or websites or something like that where you need to back it up fairly frequently. But as you can see, you can do it as early as every 10 minutes to daily. There is no option to set the time when it does it, but still, that's pretty good. Now, your keep save versions is also interesting. Obviously, the default is forever. It's assuming if I back it up, you want to keep it just the way it is. But you can change it until you need more space. And of course, one, three, six, nine months, one year, or two years. You can check out file history event logs as well while you're here to view recent events or errors, for example. Some of this might take a minute because, again, I just turned it back on. Anybody who's used the event viewer knows it's not the most friendly thing in the world. But here's your file history backup log, as you can see. There you go. So that's pretty much it. That's everything you need to know except for the obvious, which probably won't work yet as I'm still backing up. And that is the restore personal files. We can't access it yet, but once it's done, you'll be able to click them here and click restore again. This could take a couple of hours for it to actually get done and set up. But again, nowadays we've got a lot of options. You can Restore lost or damaged files. You can reset or reinstall using the cloud, which I've done personally a couple of times that I happen to like. You can also do system restore. So most of us keep a backup. You sure should. But most people I've run into, they need to back up when they lose their data. That's when they come to me. They say, hey, I just lost everything. Can you get it back? And a lot of times the answer is no. So this just gives you one other option to back up your files. I keep three hard drives, primary, secondary, external. I always have a backup. I never have to worry about it. So at least make a backup, restore points. This is a, just another great way to back up your documents, your pictures, stuff like that, which is, again, one of the biggest things I always hear about. I lost all my pictures. Do it before it's too late.
there you go set up file history windows 10 and 11 it may even go back to all the way back to windows 7 i don't remember because it is part of the control panel so there you have it that's how you can set up file history in windows 10 and 11 piece of cake right thanks for watching as always see ya